planning a trip for the day. It's very important for me at least to write down what we're gonna do for the day and stick to it. Because things can pop up that change your game plan. And you have to stick to your game plan if you wanna have consistent trips. Our game plan right now is to launch several miles from our bait. Between where we're gonna launch and get bait, I wanna look at at least three spots we haven't fished before or have not fished this year. Take your time and look at those spots because before you go to your money spot, you wanna be able to try new spots if you can. If you're always hot to try, man, you miss these opportunities. And uh, new spots and big fish on new spots are some of the best trips you're ever gonna have. So be patient. Right now we're gonna scout a spot I haven't fished in five years. So right here we're looking at a lighthouse. Tommy's taking us around. And Tommy's just staring at the fish finder. He's just gonna cruise around this lighthouse and we're just looking. We're living at side scan like, like always. And there's baby there. there. But that's all he's doing. He's just cruising around the lighthouse and watching the side scan. And he, uh, he's just looking for fish and that's it. And we're not gonna just run off to our honey holes and, and our proven spots. We have to take time and look at new stuff. You just have to do this. So there's a good chance we won't fish here. We might not fish here for years again, but we gotta stop and look. Take the time to stop and look. I don't care how anxious the guys on your boat are to fish. Make them do this. This area we're gonna look at right here and we're gonna look in this deep edge between the shawl and the channel and uh, we're not seeing much right yet we're gonna keep looking I don't see anything yet let's see it from the deep edge necessary I have to do this take the time to learn new spots don't always fish your same two you know always take the time to at least look I'm not seeing other than that little bit of bait no. You look at this bait, that's all bunker right there. See that right there? Very clear. One thing you can see with the side scan here in the active imaging is we're not just marking bait close, we're marking bait that's suspended and far from the from the boat. Really cool stuff. Sailboat to our right. It's a sunken sailboat. All bunker. Cool stuff. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> he 
water be damned. <laughs> we can fish. 20 feet of water. Look at the screen over here. <laughs> you know, it's funny because oh, this yeah, deeper water can be a little tricky, but you gotta circle them, man. You gotta circle them. The old school guys call that drumming them. Good job, Mike. He's the frugal baiter. He has five pieces out of that Circling the boat. Oh, anchor line. He's over the top. He's over the top. You're good. That, that's got to be a blue fish. That's got to be. It's fighting like a blue. What is it? It's fighting like a blue. No, it's a striper. Striper it made a hard, it made a, uh, a very hard U-turn yeah. like a like a blue fish, but it's a striper. Does this mean we get to eat tonight? No, we got some video. It's uh, just small. Fish on the left. That's right. Oh, this guy's want to come in. Yeah. See the way the rod is bent to the backbone? Yep. That drag is set perfect. Set perfect. Regardless of the line strength, you're into the backbone. Set perfect. There you go. Huge. That's huge. There you go. Not huge, but that's a pretty fish. You know what? That's right. He's a good looking guy. Come on now. Way to break the ice. Way to break the ice. We needed that. Yeah. That's right. We needed the video. <laughs> He's off. Yeah. All right, well, that's, we switched to straight inline circles. I don't even have to touch this They're fish. I'm going to let him go. I'm not even going to touch him. There you go. See you, buddy. See you later. We switched to larger circles, but we're definitely uh, you don't have to touch all him. Survive. inline. No uh, offsets. Here come the ski boat. Look at Mike work that circle. Look at him work that thing. Keep cranking. Yeah, that one's a little bit better, huh? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's a 
15 rod, isn't it? Delicious. Harbor style. Harbor style. Slam one back. Let's see what they look. Oh my goodness. And the bone's on fire. Mm, you know what's good when the bone's on fire. fire. Here's that tri tune that went for a rocking earlier. He lives. Right, Max? He lives. Alright, Tommy. Yep. What do we got there? Well, right here, we have the filet mignon side. And over here, we have the sirloin. And it's just purely deliciousness. We've already had our lamb chop course. We've eaten all the bait, so now we gotta eat the uh, the cow. That's filet right there. Are you, are you interested? So what's on the grill, Tom? We have sausage right now, cooking. Then over here, it's deliciousness. Mm, that's our third course. That's our third meat of yeah. the hour. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're meataholics. So we've had lamb, we've had beef, and we had pork. Mark? And our fast, our fat fish designs cutting board. No, so we're, we're ten seconds away from adding uh, some seafood in the form of horseshoe. <laughs> There's no uh, protein; it will not allow to be cut. We have bunker. We have steak. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Come yeah. on, Bubba. What do I got here? The bone the size like, of my head. God, these things just keep going more meat. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> He thinks it's the same boat. <laughs> We're gonna have a hard time getting him off the boat. 